From vaccine testing to the protection of frontline medical staff and the modelling of the spread of the virus worldwide, the University of Southampton has risen to the challenging times to make major contributions to the fight against the COVID-19 global pandemic. The response of the whole University and Trust has been absolutely brilliant. Our medical experts are teaming up with colleagues in Oxford to help run clinical trials of a new vaccine. If successful, it could hold the key to beating the virus which forced the world into lockdown. Mm -hmm. Other scientists at Southampton are working on treatments for those suffering with the disease right now. We're about to begin a clinical trial of a new treatment. The Synergen trial is testing an inhaled drug, which could help relieve some of the worst symptoms of COVID-19. On hospital wards, staff are benefiting from the innovation of our engineers and medics. They've designed a protective respirator hood of which over 1,000 are in use at University Hospital Southampton. Alongside this, our biological scientists have developed special fluids which tests and ensures protective equipment is sealed. And crucially, they're studying the way the virus camouflages itself from the body's immune system, providing invaluable information for vaccine developers. And it's the population movements um, that is the driver of many infectious disease spreads. Geographers working as part of the university's World Pop project are modelling the global spread of the pandemic, informing the World Health Organisation and disease control experts around the world. Our engineers are trialling how their Ultra Drone could support the Isle of Wight's response to the pandemic by transporting medical supplies from the mainland to hospitals on the island. We've created online germ defence resources about effective handwashing, provided guidance to safeguard the mental health of nurses. Vulnerable young people are, are, uh, are, are clearly struggling. And given real-time support for young people who've had to come to terms with the harsh realities of lockdown. The effect on waste disposal, the economy of coastal towns, the impact of the self-employed and the best diet to help our bodies fight disease have all been extensively researched. And the launch of the University of Southampton Coronavirus Response Fund has seen enormous success, raising hundreds of thousands of pounds to help fund many of these groundbreaking projects. Volunteers from the university community are delivering essential food and medicines and have created mini PPE factories in their homes to produce thousands of face shields. But perhaps most poignantly, hundreds of staff, students and new graduates have bravely moved to the front line. The University of Southampton has really fostered that in us that we have this ability to be compassionate to help in this extraordinarily privileged role that, that we've been allowed to have as medical students and now as HCA. As nurses, doctors and carers. I was deployed to NHS Nightingale at London's Excel Centre. Serving those who are suffering and recovering from COVID-19. Doing something remarkable in extraordinary times.